first of all, thank you so much uh, for the invi this invitation. For us, it's very important. I'm, I'm very grateful to be here. If you had told me uh, four years ago that I, a working class woman that didn't have contact with the elites or with any kind of power, would be elected mayor of Barcelona, would be here with Bernie Sanders all, and all of you, I wouldn't believe it. I think, I think you say here, uh, yes, we can, and in Spain we say, si se puede. <laughs> So for us, it's very important uh, to be here with you today, and uh, let me explain why in a few words. I'm here representing Barcelona and Comú, which is a citizen platform of common people. In my case, I'm from a working class family. I've worked in a lot of precarious uh, jobs. I was an activist for human rights and anti-evictions movement. But the most important thing is uh, that it's not just my case. Most members of Barcelona and Comú are the same, common people. Some come from social movements, some from academia, or for, from new political parties. And we decided to set up a new project for Barcelona, not just a new party, but a new way of doing politics. More inclusive, more democratic, more feminist, more innovative. And we decide to start at local level because the politics of austerity and corruption had destroyed the credibility of public institutions. We needed to provide real and concrete solutions through actions that change people's lives. Because the local level is the best place to improve democracy. It's where we live our daily lives and is where the government is closed to the people. So we came together around our shared goals for the city and with, uh, without having any media or economical or political power, we won the elections three years ago. I was elected a first woman mayor in the history of Barcelona. But you know, you know that winning elections was just the first step. <laughs> Only the first step. <laughs> What's happened in the last three years? Let me start by saying it has not been easy. Uh, we are in a minority in government. We've had a complicated situation in Catalonia, as you probably know. And cities, in general, has limited powers. But despite this, we've changed the agenda. Today, Barcelona is the city with the highest social investment in Spain. For example, we've, we've created a special investment plan for the poorest neighborhoods, or in healthcare, which is not a municipal responsibility. We have created a municipal dentist and a mental health plan. But it's not just uh, about increasing social investment. It's not enough. We are here because we are making, we need to make structural changes. Like for example, creating the, the first municipal energy company in Spain that provides green energy to city facilities. On, uh, and for the first time, the city government is standing up to multinationals who speculate in our city. We are forcing big companies to pay their taxes for the first time. <laughs> And inspiring, inspired by other cities like New York, and here we have Bill de Blasio, a friend. Inspired by other cities, we are forcing constructors to make 30% of all new housing affordable. And we have, and we have uh, finet Airbnb for advertising uh, illegal apartments and creating gentrification. So why? why it's important for us to be here today, not only to share experiences. Um, we need initiatives like this because we don't have uh, media, economical power. People stop us in the street every week and say that the news of what we are doing doesn't reach them. And our adversaries are organizing to stop us, of course. <laughs> 
they are circulating fake news. For example, every week, and it's true, every week people stop me and ask me why I have moved to the richest neighborhood in the city, which is a lie, of course. <laughs> And the opposition parties are des des desperately looking for famous candidates for the elections in May, next May. For example, one of these parties is bringing a former prime minister of France to stand against me. Um, that's why this initiative is so important. Uh, right, right now, the racist, violent, homophobic, and sexist far right is organizing. We need to amplify all of the alternatives we are building around the world to prove that we are not alone and that change is possible. In the face of the far right that feeds on the fear of our neighbors, we need to build hope and build this hope together with others, not against the other. Only in this way, with alliances built from below, can we defeat the Salvinis, Bolsonaros, and Trumps in the world? Because we want a feminist world, which means equality for all and putting life at the center. We need to build community, locally and internationally. A community that can transform fear into hope. It won't be easy, but I'm convinced it's possible. It's up to us to make it happen, and I think with you, it's possible. Thank you very much. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful.